My name is Todd Brandenburg and I'm an operator for GL CAP Rural Community Assistance Program. Uh, hydrant flushing is typically a systematic way of going through a system and opening and closing fire hydrants to move water in one direction through the system and try and clean or scour the inside of a water main. Hydrants are an access point to the water main. So if, if we can access the water, we can get water quality sampling. We can also improve water quality by flushing them. So oftentimes in the course of, of uh, treating the water and distributing water, we'll have minerals that will, will be in the water. And once they get out into the main and they sit stagnant in the main, they'll cling to the interior of the water main. So we have decreased capacity. Uh, so now instead of having a 12 inch diameter, we're down to six inches. So we don't have that capacity and that flow. If there were to be a fire event, we need that extra flow. Uh, if there were to be a water main break or a sudden movement of water in the system, it could release that. It could release um, things that could be harmful to health too, like lead, uh, because that lead has been captured inside that tuberculation. So we want to try and move it out in a systematic way and get rid of it while we're in the process of hydrant flushing or system flushing. We like to do this at least once a year. Some communities do it twice a year. I usually recommend spring or summer, uh, so we're not pushing towards when main breaks are occurring. We also use them to uh, address a water quality concern. So if a customer had dirty water, we're going to go out and flush a fire hydrant and, and see what we can do getting that water out of there.